Right now we had in cost of goods sold. Cost of goods sold in sales. We try to learn the meaning of cost of goods sold and how to arrive at sales once we know cost of goods sold. So what is the meaning of cost of goods sold? Please note it down along with me. Particulars, rupees, rupees, opening stock, amount column put into marks, add, net purchases. What is the net purchases? Purchases, gross in the inner column. Less purchases gross, less purchase returns. You will get net purchases and direct expenses like wages. Carriage, inward, freight, inward, etc. These are your direct expenses. Opening stock, add net purchases, add direct expenses. You will get Cost of goods available for sale. You will get cost of goods available for sale. Less closing stock. Closing stock. Subtract the value of unsold goods, you will get cost of goods sold. cost of goods sold, start with opening stock, add net purchases, add direct expenses. If all the goods are sold, this is going to be your cost, this is the expenditure. If all the goods are sold, that is opening stock, all your purchase you are selling and including your expenses, if all the goods are sold, this would be the cost. Okay, come in. Quick. You will get cost of goods available for sale. Okay. Out of this, remove the cost price of unsold stock. You will get cost of goods sold. Is it clear? So how do you get cost of goods available for sale? Opening stock and net purchases. What do you mean by net purchases? Gross purchases minus purchase returns. You will get net purchases. Add direct expenses, you will get cost of goods available for sale. So during the year, whatever goods are available, the cost price of all the goods is this much. Okay. If you add, if you subtract closing stock, you will get the cost price of goods which have been actually sold. Okay. Note it down, please, everyone. Very, very important. Many a times when you go for an interview, they would like to ask. You would like to know whether you have the meaning of cost of goods sold. How to calculate cost of goods sold? What are the components of cost of goods sold? Quick. After cost of goods sold, add gross profit or gross margin. 
you will get net sales you will get net sales this is nothing but your vertical trading account this is nothing but your vertical trading account you prepare trading account in the horizontal format instead of preparing it in the horizontal format you prepare it in vertical format trading account will look like this if you want i prepare the trading account here for your understanding two opening stock i write here two purchases inner column i take gross purchases less purchase returns i show net purchase in the outer column two wages debited to trading account to carriage inward to freight inward direct expense are debited to trading account okay then on the credit side we write by closing stock the cost price of goods remaining unsold at the end of the year is shown on the credit side by sales less sales returns net sales is shown in the outer column what do we do to calculate gross profit we total the credit side we subtract all the debit side items we get gross profit to gross profit we call this as balancing figure yes now this statement which we have prepared to calculate cost of goods sold cost of goods available for sale is actually prepared out of the trading account now opening stock is debited purchase is debited these things are added see here we are writing opening stock add net purchases add wages add carriage inward add freight inward even the trading account they are all debited that means they are added now if i put a hook here to closing stock and pull it to the debit side what will happen it will change its sign because it should appear on the credit side if you pull it to the debit side what will happen it will change its sign and show minus, minus. that is why i am showing closing stock here in minus if i pull closing stock to this side opening stock add purchases add direct expenses i will get cost of goods available for sale less closing stock i get cost of goods sold yes? yes cost of goods sold is shown on the debit side of the trading account sales is shown on the credit side of the trading account difference between sales and cost of goods sold is gross profit yes so we are doing the same thing but instead of preparing it in d format we are preparing it in vertical format is it clear so now somebody will ask you how do you calculate cost of goods sold what will you say opening stock add net purchases net 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 means what gross minus purchase returns add direct expenses you will get what cost of goods available for sale less closing stock you will get cost of goods sold add gross profit you will get net sales what is net sales gross sales minus sales returns Gross sales minus sales returns is called as net sales. The difference between net sales and cost of goods sold is gross profit. Is it clear, everyone? Let us do a problem now. If cost of goods sold is more than net sales, then you will have a gross loss. Okay. Next, write down a problem. Extract profit trial balance. Very, very, very important topic. Your entire chapter on inventory valuation will revolve around only these calculations. Extract of a trial balance. Note down extract of a trial balance. Particulars, debit, credit. Note down the numbers now. Opening stock. Opening stock. 1 lakh rupees opening stock 1 lakh rupees debit balance 
purchases purchases debit balance 6 lakhs 30000 rupees purchases debit balance 6 lakh 30000 rupees next purchase returns please tell me which balance will it show credit, credit balance. balance purchase returns credit balance 30000 rupees wages wages 50000 rupees freight inward freight inward debit balance 1 lakh rupees debit balance 1 lakh rupees sales sales credit balance 10 lakh 30000 rupees sales credit balance 10 lakh 30000 rupees sales returns sales returns debit balance 30000 rupees close the trial balance close the trial balance additional information additional information right on closing stock closing stock is of the value closing stock is of the value 1 lakh rupees calculate cost of goods sold calculate cost of goods sold and gross profit by preparing a statement by preparing a statement so what should you do to prepare a statement where you are going to calculate cost of goods sold gross profit let's start i think you already know the format of the statement no Add 
Dirt expenses. Under that, what are the dirt expenses given in the problem? Wages. How much? 50,000. Carriage inward. How much carriage inward? Load of carriage? No, sir. Freight inward. How much? 1 lakh. They both are dirt expenses. Outer column will get 1 lakh 50,000. Now what do you get when you add these three numbers? What do you get? How much? 8 lakh? 50,000. If all the goods were sold during the year, our cost, our expenditure would have been 8 lakh 50,000. But out of 8 lakh 50,000, goods costing how much remain unsold? 1 lakh. Less closing stock. How much? 1 lakh rupees. What do you get now? Cost of goods sold. Cost of goods sold. How much? 7 lakh 50,000. Cost of goods sold. 7 lakh 50,000. Add gross profit. Question mark. I don't know the gross profit. Net sales. Calculate and tell me what is net sales in the problem. In that. Net sales. In that. Net sales is how much? Gross sales is 10 lakh 30,000. Minus sales returns 30,000. So net sales is 10 lakh. So gross profit is how much? 2 lakh. 50,000 rupees. Gross profit is 2 lakh 50,000 rupees.
purchases debit balance ten lakh fifty thousand ten lakh fifty thousand purchase returns how much very good purchase returns credit balance fifty thousand purchase returns credit balance fifty thousand opening stock debit balance 5 lakhs close the trial balance additional information closing stock is of the value closing stock is of the value 2 lakhs rupees calculate cost of goods sold and gross profit calculate cost of goods sold and gross profit
पाई लाइट इसके बाद जो है Don't treat it as very easy. It is very, very important. So I'm going to leave you this topic. So with this, we finish. Cost of goods sold, calculation of gross profit by preparing a statement. So the next topic we'll discuss is write down.